have what I guess you can call the first edition of a lot of the main characters from Cars 2. Most of my main Cars 2 characters in my collection were ones that I got back in 2011 or 2012, or I got their 2011-2012 release. After 2011 and 2012, though, they started making quite a few changes to a lot of the characters from Cars 2. These included, um, finally giving Jeff Corvette the Corvette logo on his hood. I believe they changed the color of Shu Todoroki's bumper, although Shu was a character that I got back in 2018 for the first time, so I have his newer variant. Quite a few of these characters, I don't have their uh, updates, or I've repainted the updated ones. Like, I bought an updated Jeff Corvette a few years ago with the Corvette logo on his hood, and then I repainted it for my McQueen's team movie. Francesco was yet another character who had a pretty notable change only a few years after his initial release, changing his base from being entirely white to being black and white. And today, I have the updated Francesco so that I can finally take a look at him. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 re-release of Francesco Bernoulli, which I'd assume is the same as most of Francesco's Thailand releases from the past few years. Um, so yeah, pretty excited to be opening up a new Francesco. I really want to see the differences between my original one from 2011 and this guy right here. Really nothing uh, of note with him. Just your typical Francesco artwork. Uh, on the back we've got as seen in Cars 2 with Mama Bernoulli, Lewis Hamilton, Jeff Corvette, who's still using the picture missing the Corvette logo on his hood, Bob Pulley, very cool re-release there, Suki and Cartney Carsper. You know what always throws me off? There are two Lightning McQueen fans in Cars 2, both named Cartney. Like, what are the odds of that? There was Cartney uh, Carsper there and Cartney Breakin. I think that's such a strange... Uh, coincidence and a really weird choice on their part. Anyway though, here is Francesco out of the package. Looking pretty similar to my original Francesco, yeah. The expression is just a tiny bit different. Is the mouth not colored in? That's strange. Is that only on mine? Yeah, that is a weird choice. I may have to uh, look into that a bit. I don't know why the mouth isn't colored in, but you can see the expression is just the slightest bit different, just like with most of the Thailand releases. Got the number one there on the hood, and uh, definitely a bigger font size there. In fact, all of the details on the hood here are definitely larger than on the original. We have some just subtle differences in color there on the front sort of bumper area. Moving on to the side, you can see, of course, the biggest thing they changed with Francesco over the years, the black base there. Better uh, look at that on the bottom. Definitely very cool, I think, that they uh, changed the base of a car to make it, um, you know, to make it more accurate. Interestingly, this guy seems to be put together with uh, screws of some kind instead of the rivets on the original Francesco. Francesco, of course is a die-cast car that uses quite a bit of plastic on him, so that's probably why. In fact, I think the only part that's metal is the main body here. We have his Rotelli tires. It's a Pasta Potenza, which translates to Pasta Power uh, when translated into English, which is great. We've got his name there. Just double-check, yep. Just like on the original. We've got the World Grand Prix number one. I don't know what's up with the number one there. That looks very... Uh, strange. The one definitely far larger than on the original and seems to be in a bit of a different location, I want to say. We've got the Italian flag with the Francesco signature. World Grand Prix logo there on the spoiler. Moving on to the back. There's really nothing to show on the back because, you know, you can't really fit anything back there. There is a look at his other side. And there is the base once again. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.